hey what's happening guys today I thought we would talk a little bit about our old friend the LM317 adjustable voltage regulator and we've done a couple videos on this so I'm not going to talk very much about it except to say these are the pins adjust output input and you can have a V out anywhere between 1.25 volts and 37 volts and a maximum current of greater than 1.5 amps so to use this thing in the adjustable voltage regulator mode there's our in our out and our adjust so our in goes to VCC our output comes off with the resistor here then we have a resistor here that goes to ground create a little voltage divider here and we read our voltage here and there that's where we get our adjustment voltage from but we can also use the LM317 as a constant current source and the way we do that there's our in, our out, and our adjust. Again, our in goes to VCC. Our out goes to a resistor. And then our adjust goes after the resistor. And that will create a constant current source that you can figure out with this formula. IO equals 1.25 divided by the value of R. So that's pretty simple, right? All right, so let's say that we need a circuit that uses 10, uh, 10 volts DC and 300 milliamps. So we can use two LM317s set up kind of like this. Say all we have is a 12 volt one amp source. So there's our 12 volt rail, our zero volt rail. Here's our first LM317 input output adjust. Our input goes there. Our adjust goes like that to a resistor to ground another resistor here we create a voltage regulator and if those values happen to be 270 ohms and 1.81 K then we will get 10 volt DC coming out here now we use a second LM317 like this input output adjust and if we use a resistor value of around somewhere around 4R we should get 300 milliamps constant current at that point in the circuit so let me show you a little circuit I've got whipped up and we'll take a look Okay, because I don't have those exact resistor values, you can see I'm using potentiometers and I'm only using one leg and the wiper for each one of them. And those are set up just like you see here. So if you want to copy this circuit, you know, pause the video and copy that down. Okay. So let's zoom out here a little bit. So there's our circuit. We've got 12 volts coming in from the benchtop power supply. We have our first LM317 outputting 10 volts through this white wire here over to the input pin of the second LM317. 
then the output of the second three LM317 is going through this resistor and then finally outputting over here our constant current and now will be our constant voltage as well so let's zoom out completely here and come up here and you can see these two meters I have set up now the O1 is set to measure voltage and the Aning, I'm just going to call it the 8008, is set up to measure the constant current. And they are going through this variable DC load, which I've got set up to try and ask for an amp and a half. So I'll turn on the bench power supply. And you can see we've got 10 volts coming out of the first LM317 being measured right here. You see at pin 2, the output pin. And we have, well, 305 milliamps. And that is being measured right here in series with our load. Now, if you're going to use a circuit like this, you're definitely going to want to have heat sinks on those LM317. Since we're just doing it for shits and giggles here, I don't have any heat sinks on them. Now I'm going to shut off the bench power supply. And we're going to come down here, zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to bring in one more meter. put it somewhere where you can see it so perhaps zooming in wasn't the best idea there and I'm gonna measure that last resistor there and we'll see what its value is and see if we came close to my math if my math is any good having trouble getting it on the pins hanging on just a second here can we get it on there oh now I knocked the whole thing out didn't I let's try this one more time And that's in the wrong space. All right. Try this one last time here. Oh, I was a bit off. 8.1 ohms. So if we do the math. Hang on, I'm going to do the math. Well, my math is right. There must be a something a little bit off there because if we power it back up you can see we are right back uh oh it must have got bumped that's the problem yeah see that thing is just so sensitive that the slightest bump All right, that's close enough. So my math says uh, four ohms should give us 312 milliamps. So we'll go with that. But anyway, that's how you can create your own um, power supply with whatever voltage you need and a constant current output. So you can see if I vary what this thing asks for and I'm turning this knob it will never output more than that 300 ohms we're stuck right there I mean 300 milliamps we have a very nice constant current supply and that's great for driving high-powered LEDs low-power LEDs 
anything that you need to limit the current for. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up, comment, share. Thank you for subscribing. That's it. I'm out of here. Peace.